ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನ ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಬನುತ್ವಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರು ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತಾಂ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ಸ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಕ 
कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मुति क्रियताम यदि कुतोपि लभ्यते तत्र लौल्लमोपि मूल्यमेकलम जन्म कोटि सुकृतवैर न लभ्यते कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मुति कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मुति क्रियताम यदि कुतोपि लभ्यते तत्र लौल्लमोपि मूल्यमेकलम जन्म कोटि सुखतवैर न लभ्यते गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमांश जगदगुरु सेड दैट वी आर ऑल गोइंग एवे डे बाय डे वी आर गोइंग एवे फ्रॉम दैट एब्सुलूट ट्रूथ दिस होल वर्ल्ड they are gradually going away from that absolute truth they are deviated from that absolute truth they are going away from that absolute truth now they are feeling fear if somebody going to discuss about their absolute truth then they become very fearful why they are going to discuss this way better they can speak something which is very easy why this kind of discussion going on they are deviated from their absolute truth their deviation is so big deviation that now it is really very difficult from them for them to hear about that absolute truth sila popart said that until and unless you are 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of supreme lord you cannot speak about that absolute truth sila popart said that until and unless you are 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of supreme lord you cannot speak about the absolute truth is not possible day by day we are going away from the absolute truth we are away from the absolute truth so much big a gulf difference that it is really impossible for us to realize what is that absolute truth many time pope are told don't try to introduce yourself with these material things as far as as far as possible try to get aloof from this material world connection i know while you are living i know while we are living it is not possible 100% anyway we need some public dealings we will have to talk with somebody we can go to market this that but what popa wanted to say that okay so long as we are living on this material world we will have to keep some relationship with somebody but it should be insignificant i mean so long as it is very important you can do it after that you can forget otherwise day by day you can get involved in these material things material things day by day we can get involved all these material things we cannot understand what is called a prakita tatva and surely you know as a gauri or devotee what is our target what is our syllabus if i ask you before before getting entry into one college or university or school you will have to understand you will have to realize what is the syllabus any branch of study first of all when you are going to take admission first of all you have to take the syllabus so that you can understand what you will have to do 
what you will have to study. So our Gauriya devotees, our Gauriya devotees, they should understand our syllabus. What is their syllabus? Aradha Bhagavan Bhujasustane Astadhama Vrindavanam Ramma Kachi Dupasana Brajabodha Vargena Jakalpita Simad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Prema Pumartha Mahano Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhur Matam Idam Tattadarana Para. That is our syllabus. You should not forget. Otherwise, you cannot get any, you cannot make any head on tail of your bhajan. Why you have come, what you are doing, doing right or wrong, you cannot understand. And exact guidance you need. Yes, that day, yesterday also I told, Sadhu Sangha is the only way to reach Golokdham. And at the same time, Sadhu Sangha is the only way and uh, by the easiest way to go to hell very easily. Because you can make mistake, you cannot understand a Guru Vaishnava, you can ignore, you can insult, you can avoid. This way, very quickly, you can ensure you are going to hell very easily. Easiest way. That is the easiest way. I mean, Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Koi, Lavamattu Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhiva. Even fraction of second, one second divided by eleven, one second divided by eleven, that much time is more than sufficient to help you to attain your success. I mean Krishna Prema. More than sufficient. Fraction of second, I mean one second divided by eleven. That much time is more than sufficient to help you to attain success. Whereas we are going to do so much sadhu sangha, after taking initiation, this, that, but we are not successful because there is some, there is some wrong conception we have. So, Aradha Bhagavan Brajasthaniya our worshipable object is Nandanandan Sri Krishna, together with all paraphernalia, I mean Radha Krishna, together with all paraphernalia, all Sri Vindavandam, everything, all together it is our worshipable object. Aradha Bhagavan Vajrasa Sanyam, Saddhama Vindavana. But how, what is the procedure? Ramma Kachito Pasana Brajabodhu Vargena Jakalpita. The way, the way, the procedure shown by Brajagopikas, that is our Gauriya Vajan. Be careful. The way shown by Gopikas, Brajagopikas, that is the only way for our Vajan. That is the only way. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasa Sanayasta Dhavindavanam Ramma Kachitupasana Brajabodha Vargina Jakalpita and Srimad Bhagavaji Mahaparan is the standard. I told you that day when there is confusion in Skandapuran it is written, in Padapuran it is written, Brahma Vaivartha Praman it is written, then uh, how I can understand what it is? Follow. In that case, you will have to accept the Siddhanta Vishar of Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran. I am not speaking. It is the Siddhanta Vishar of Guru Varga. Narottama Thakur also told. Narottama Thakur also in Kirtan told. Madhasta Si Bhagavad Puran. Vishar Kuriya Mane. Try to understand, remember this Bengali. You can go now and you can read what I say. Bichar Koriyamone, Bichar Koriyamone, Bhakti Rosh Ashadone, Madhasto, Shri Bhagavat Puran. I am giving little meaning. What is that? I can go on thinking deeply under the guidance of our Guru Varga, not new modern Acharya. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, repeatedly speaking, 
I can show you, I already published many times, but people blind. Bhakti Mata was speaking, new procedure of bhajan not possible. Bhakti Mata repeatedly told, new procedure of bhajan, what is this? No, procedure of bhajan is okay. You will have to adopt the same procedure as shown by your, our authentic Guru Varga, orthodox Guru Parampara. You will have to follow. Because it is the rules, many times I told, Maha Yano Yeno Kato Sapantha. So Bhakti Mata was speaking, new procedure of bhajan not possible. New procedure not possible, procedure there. But we will have to be, be very careful. We will have to follow our Guru Varga perfectly. Those who are going to invent, discover, not discover also I cannot say, because discover means which is already there, we will have to for discover this word I cannot say. So somebody can somebody can show you new procedure of bhajan. He is already deviated from the track of Guru Varga. Bhakti Mata was speaking, it is the usual procedure of those so-called Acharyas, those who are always expecting love, puja, patishtha, those, their target, their target is to collect love, puja, patishtha, money, position, everything. Naturally, Bhakti Mata was speaking, naturally, they are going to show a new procedure. If they are not going to show new procedure, otherwise he cannot tally his own behavior, wrong behavior. Otherwise he cannot justify his new behavior, new kind of procedure. So anyway, he is, he is going to show us a new uh, method of bhajan. New method of bhajan is going to show. Bhakti Mata was speaking, usually those Acharyas, those who are running to collect La Puja Patishtha, it is the usual procedure. They are bound to show a new procedure, new method. Otherwise, they cannot justify their wrong activities. Wrong, irrational, irrational activities, irrational talkings, they cannot adjust. If you are blind, you cannot arrest them. If you are blind, you cannot arrest them. But if Prabhupada is there and those who are enjoying full keep of Prabhupada, they can look immediately, they can as a cheater. But you cannot understand. You cannot understand. You can go on watching how many temples made, how many disciples, how much, how many times, foreign trips, how many times, how many. This you can calculate. But this is not the yardstick. This is not the scale on the basis of which you can try to measure a Vaishnava. That is the main problem, main mistake you are doing. You cannot understand. So Bhakti Mata is speaking, it's a must. Those who are running from La Puja Patishta, they are bound to, you know, for, they are going to show you a new special procedure. procedure. And Bhakti Mata is speaking, that the, that the new procedure, that the new method shown by that modern Acharya, be careful that method and the followers of that method and the, uh, together with Guru all can go to hell. Very destroyed, Bhakti Mata writing. Very quickly, well, within a maximum uh, 25, 30, 40, maximum 50 years. 50 years cannot go. Because in between 50 years, if Bhagavan is going to send such a powerful Vaishnava who is going to speak about Absolute, then everybody can know. 50 years gapping. In between 50 years, if Bhagavan is going to send one very powerful Vaishnava who don't care, La Puja Padisha is going to speak, then big problem. Of course, common people cannot accept him very easily. After getting kick, after getting kick and kick and kick of Maya, after that, they can understand. Very easily, they cannot understand. They can go on getting a kick from Mayadevi. Big kick, Mayadevi can give. Lie. 
After long time, after getting kick and kick, when they feel tired, then they can think, surely I am, surely I am following a wrong track. Otherwise, why I am exhausted? Why I am feeling tired? I was supposed to get enjoyment, enthusiastic energy, because those who are Vaishnava, doing bhajan, their energy, their energy, you cannot imagine. Havoc energy, volcanic energy, where from they are getting? Where from they are getting? Not from protein and vitamin, minerals, you are taking so many, not from there. They are protein, vitamin, minerals coming from up. That's why they are powerful, they don't care, they don't fear. So this way, someday you can realize. So Bhakti Muttaku is speaking this way, Narottam Muttaku is speaking what? Bichar Koriya Mone. You can go thinking very, very deeply, we'll have to go deep. Because so long as you are up, so long as you are, as you are up in the ocean, you can see only wave and wave and wave and because from, from up, upside we can see the wave only, oh, big wave, can push you down. But if you can go, do, go deep into the ocean, but if you go deep into the ocean, oh, you can discover, oh my God, so many jewels, so many jewels there. You can find 20,000 leagues under the sea. 20,000 league under the sea, you can discover, oh my God, so much jewels, you know. Ooh. But upside, only wave and wave. So, you are busy with external things of bhajan, external, you know, exhibition of bhajan, no. So, you cannot understand. So, North Amanda was suggesting, bichar koriya mani. Repeatedly go on thinking deeply about the Siddhanta Vichar of all our previous Guru Varga. Vichar Kuriya Mone. Bhakti Ras Asadone. To get the test of Bhakti, you will have to keep standard. What is the standard? Bhagavad Mahapran. Vichar Kuriya Mone. Bhakti Ras Asadone. To get the test of Bhakti, you will have to keep in the middle. This Bhagavan, Bhagavad Ji Mahapran, is a standard. Because what Bhagavad Ji Mahapran is speaking, that is fine of. Because I already told, because there is so many people in the whole world, some are Shaktik, some are Rajasik, some Tamatik. So Bhagavan, anyhow, Bhagavan has, Bhagavan has to guide them somehow. They are Tamagun, okay, Tamagun. But still, in Tamagun, they must go for forward little bit. So, Tamagun, they are, uh, and Rajagun, Rajasik, some six Purans, and six Purans, Satik. Out of that, Bhagavad Ji Mahapran is the topmost. So, Narutam Thakur also speaking this. In Skanda Puran, you can find that Bhagavan Sri Krishna left body, after that, he was burnt. After that, the naval portion was thrown in the water. Naval was floating it. Many such questions came to me. I am laughing. They are not Gauriya devotee. They are not Gauriya devotee. I cannot confess them. They have not taken admission in Gauriya Mart. They are outside Gauriya Mart. Gauriya Mart is not construction of a bricks and stone and, you know, this, that, no. They are all outside Goryama. If they can get entry, if they can get entry into Goryama, they can find a huge amount of treasure, endless treasure. They can find an endless treasure, endless, waiting for you. Endless treasure waiting for you, but you can you cannot see, you are blind now. Even you are not getting admission into Goryama. If you like to get admission into Goryama, you'll have to get the approval of those
pure Guru Vaishnava, like Prabhupada, Bhaktivinu, Thakur, Kesav Gujana, Siddhar Gujana, you will have to get. Otherwise, you cannot get. You are only outside, you are shouting slogan. Only slogan. Like the factory workers doing na? slogan. We need it, we need it, we need it. You have to give it. Slogan going on. To meet their demand. So we are doing it. But when everything is over, you can get entry, you can keep silence. Because you are already watching everything. One example I can give. So long as, so long as the honeybees is hovering around the lotus flower and making some mm, some sound. But when that honeybee is going to sit on the lotus flower and drinking honey, then no sound. Sound is there? Sound is open. So long as you are not getting the chance to get the nectar, so long you can shout and give slogan here and there. But when you are getting the chance to get the taste, but now all shouting over. Popa speaking, Popa speaking, those who are getting the chance to get the taste of Ananda Bhajan, don't forget, I am always speaking standard. Follow. Popa speaking, Popa speaking, if you are going to get the taste of Ananda Bhajan, taste a little bit, then it is not possible for you to leave bhajan. Then it is not possible for you to leave bhajan. But you are not getting test. You are not getting test. Or getting test but little bit, maybe not perfectly. So if in Skandapuran at all it is written, it is also for some Rajasik people, Rajasik, those who are in Rajaguna, but it is not the Siddhanta Vishya. Under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, if you have the chance to go through Sanatana Sikha, Rupa Sikha, Raya Ramananda, Guru Padma repeatedly used to say, Guru Padma repeatedly used to say, so long as you have no idea about Sanatana Sikha, Rupa Sikha, Raya Ramananda, Sangbad, till then, you cannot understand anything. Cannot understand, you cannot make any ABC. First of all. So, Mahaprabhu is going to clarify this point already. In my Harikatha, many times, online Harikatha, offline, many times I told. Zoom line I told. Many times, I remember. That Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatan, all the abduction of Mahishis, all the wives of Krishna abducted. You can find in Dasam Skanda. Or the disappearance of Krishna from the material planet. Krishna Antadhyan. Krishna Antadhyan. Mahishi Haran. All the abduction of Mahishi. And Jodhubangsha Dhangsha. Destruction of Jodhubangsha. All full of Yogumaya. All full of Maya. Bhagavan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. Bhagavan likes to make one maya. Like the magician, you know? Magician. One magician in front of you. One, two, three. Shh. You can see what is this? Magician. Is the material magician, is the material magician going to cut the throat of a young lady in front of all public? In front of all public, the magician is going to cut the throat of one lady, separated. Follow. In front of public, thousands of public, one import, I already told, one very famous magician, you in a European country, America, he used to go. He is originally from India. In front of public, thousands of public, he started showing magic. And then train was detained due to some, uh, uh, some track problem. Train was late by two, five hours. And the magician started showing magic in the Bombay mail. All people coming out in the field to see magic. Follow. They are concentrating in the magic. Finally, when they look back, 
they find Bombay mail is vanished. They look back, where is the train? Train is not there. They started crying. Our luggage, everything there. Train is there, but he is saying magic. So material magician is so successful to make fool of you. To do you think Bhagavan Sri Krishna is an idiot? <laughs> Foolish Bhagavan. So Bhagavan can give you all toys, all toys with which you are playing, no? Like the small baby playing with toys. Bhagavan giving us our toys. Wife, husband, children, building, all land. Bhagavan going to give us some toys. You play with the toys. And you cannot cry. And when after throwing all toys, and the boy, baby started crying, ah, then mother is bound to come. Then now, mother saying, now toys, uh, so all toys with which we are playing. Building, position, Pure Vaishnav, they are not passing any lecture. That is the main thing. They are speaking out of their realization, what they realize after they are speaking. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, all the abduction of Mahishis, all the abduction of Mahishis, destruction of Jadubamsa, eh? all the disappearance of Krishna is a fool of Maya. You cannot understand the reality. But in Bhagavatam it is written. Bhagavan Sikh is no same transcendental body. Because main mistake you are going to do that for Bhagavan there is no difference between Atma and body. No no deho dehi vedam. No deho dehi vedam. Ishwarasa vidvati. Parameshwara Sabidvat. Bhagavan, his body and Atma are not different. Same. But for you, your body is different, Atma is different. Deho Devi Vedam Navidyati. So, so Bhagavan wants to give us all toys with which we can be busy. So, Popa repeatedly speaking, we should not introduce ourselves with material things. As far as possible, uh, so long as it is possible, we can try to get aloof. Okay, for leaving this body, you have to go to market, but try to remain indifferent with all these matters. So, our target, you know, what is that? Krishna Prema. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajaj, I already told. Brajabhadi Vargeno Jagalpada. And Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran is the, is the, is the final year stick. Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. So if there is any contradiction, you have to consult. So if even Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran you cannot understand, you will have to go through Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya Shirdham. So when Mahaprabhu is going to speak this way, so there is no confusion. When Mahaprabhu himself speaking to Sanatana Gosai, that all in people to make fool of to make fool of people. Those who are material people, Mahaprabhu speaking, those who are material people to make fool of them, to create some confusion in that's why Bhagavan doing this kind of leela. So that everybody cannot understand what is bhakti. Let them busy with money, position, foreign trip, everything. But at least they cannot understand bhakti. They can, Bhagavan cannot allow. Bhagavan speaking that bhakti, if I am going to give them, they, they can get everything. Bhakti is a nectar. So, Uddhav, actually, our Yudhishthir Maharaj, in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, our Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan tried to give everything, whatever you need. Whatever you need, do bhajan, whatever you need, money, position, whatever, Bhagavan can give everything. But cannot give bhakti. Even mukti, 
Bhagavan is ready to give mukti, whatever, what you need. You have done Guru Seva. Achha. You have done uh, Bhagavad Seva. What do you need then? You are a businessman, I can pay you. You have done Guru Seva, I know, but with business motive. So I can give you, I can pay you. Je yathamam prapadyante tang sativa bhajam maham. Bhagavan speaking in Gita, if you are doing bhajan with some motive, Bhagavan can pay you. Ah, go, go, go. You are beggar. You are beggar forever. Your naked picture, Bhagavan can see. Our naked picture, Bhagavan can see. We can cover us with cloth, but Bhagavan can see everything what is there inside me. So, Bhagavan cannot give bhakti. So, Yudhishthira is speaking, Bhagavan finally wants to give mukti. Okay, okay you take. Ye yathamam prapadante tang sathima bhajamyam. It is my rules. It what motive, which way you are doing my bhajan, I like to pay you back. But when no payment is applicable there, possible, then I want to sell myself in front of you. Like Gopikas. No pare aham niravadda sangyuyam jama abhajano durjana griho singhala Sangrishya Tadva Pratijatu Sat. One line I like to speak again. What do you see? What I say? The slok I started. What? Na pare aham niravadda sangyujam vibudayu shapiva. I missed this line. Sorry. Na pare aham vibudayu shapiva. Jama abhajano durjano griho sankhala. Sangrishya Tadva Pratijatu Sadhana. Bhagavan speaking, even I am going to get the lifespan like a demigod or like Brahma, still I cannot pay you. Still I cannot pay you. Bhagavan Sikhi was speaking to Gopikas. I cannot pay you. I am folding hand. You get satisfied by your highness. I have nothing to pay you. What I can pay? Only I can say I can sell. I am going to sell myself in front of you. I am going to sell myself. I am sold in front of you. Mahapur many times told in front of pure devotees. So, Bhagavan cannot pay. Bhagavan cannot pay. If there is one pure devotee, those who are following Gopika. So, Bhagavan, uh, actually, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan Dadati Muktim, Bhagavan Dadati Muktim Sma Na Bhakti Yogam. Bhagavan finally can give you Mukti. Yo, oh, take, take Mukti. But cannot give Bhakti. Because if Bhakti Bhagavan is going to give, then Bhagavan is going to sell himself in front of you. That's why Bhagavan don't give. Bhagavan can give you everything, all money, position, all. Lakhs of people can give you garland, Bhagavan can arrange everything. Yeah. In Vrindavan, you can have a big, big cheater. They are so ferocious. They are so ferocious that even material, you know, big, big gunda, you know, big, big capitalist cannot be compared. Big, big thieves, terrorist cannot be. Big, big terrorists. Even America was full. Could not give to and make any solution. Finally, he was killed. In India, in India, government for the 15, 20 years, foolish, foolish, could not make. Finally, he was killed. I don't like to name that Gunda because my contamination. Follow. In the deep forest, is making a big, you know, palace. Chandan Ban, Chandan, forest of sandalwood in South India. Twenty years, government, government could not do anything. Finally, he was killed. And worldwide, terrorist one, I don't like to name. Finally, he was killed by Obama. By planning, I don't like to name. Follow. This is the condition. 
They are so ferocious, so ferocious that even material terrorists, they cannot be convinced. Because terrorists can make some problem, we can see, at least we can understand, we can try to make solution. But those who are make fool of you in the name of bhajan, how you can arrest them? Lacks of people are misguided. They think it is bhajan. So, the kind of mistake they are doing, because life is very short. If you are going to make a mistake, you cannot get time to recover. Life is so short. If you are going to make mistake in bhajan line, oh, oh you are already missed or 10 years, 20 years already gone. How you can make up? 20 years gone in your life, you have gone the wrong way. Now you understand. But how you can make up? Your life is very short now. No time to. So be careful. Bhagavan, Sri Krishna cannot give bhakti to you, can give mukti, mukti, but can give bhakti. But if can discover, you are number one Guru Das. How to understand who is Guru Das? How you can understand who has done Guru Seva? Everybody can say, he has done Guru Seva. Everybody can say, no, openly, he has done Guru Seva, Maharaj. We have seen in our eyes. That day I told, no, all your material experience, all your sense organ, all your certificate you have collected from university, all knowledge up to now, right from the beginning of your life, whatever you have collected, you have to bundle it and throw it in the deep ocean, then come to me, I told. So, as per your experience, material eyes, material brain, you can say, he has done Guru Shiva Maharaj, we have seen ourselves. What you have seen? With his eyes, you can see stool and urine and woman and man. Woman and man. Stool, urine, blood and flesh, that you can see. That you are going to cry. We have seen, he has done Guru Seva. He has done Guru Seva. If he has done Guru Seva, then why we cannot find anything? Anything concrete in him? If at all he has done Guru Seva, because Guru Seva is the only procedure, na? Guru Shiva, I can give the example of Madhubindu Puripa. Snik dasya shishya sya guru vagujyam apyo. Whole world cannot know. But one disciple is going to get the full kripa of Guru Dev. Nobody can understand. Everybody thinking, he is enjoying. Yes, he is enjoying full kripa. Full is idiot. <laughs> Nobody knows. Because Guru Dev is going to give kripa to that disciple secretly and she saw that disciple going to accept. Except that no third person cannot understand. Only the two, that genuine disciple and genuine Gurudev. Only they two can understand, no third person can understand. No external witness, valuable here. No validity, external witness, what you have done. This way, Snigdha Sasisya Sa Guru Bhagujyam. How we can understand? He is enjoying full keep of Gurudev. How to understand? By, by counting, by analyzing his popularity, external property, by analyzing what amount of money, position he has done, how many temple, how many disciples, this? No. No, not this way. You will, if you are very intelligent, if you are in line with Prabhupada, you can immediately understand all the power of Guru Padma translated into him. All Siddhanta Vichar, all power, truthfulness, Siddhanta Vichar, Acharan, hey, mercy. Mercy means? What do you mean by mercy? To speak some sweet word, not no mercy. Mercy means resolution, Ashadu going to take some resolution to save you. That is called his merciness, mercifulness. Mercy doesn't mean you can give some money, position, can arrange one you know, foreign girl with you, you can manage, arrange marriage. This is called mercy at present. 
This is not mercy. Mercy means Gurudev can slap you, beat you, kick you. Eh? Whatever. Rascal, you are coming to me. If you are interested to know absolutely, come to me. Like a dog. Like a dog, you come to me. Faithful dog. Otherwise, you get lost. Go. Go. Gurudev is not going to apply while to disciple. Gurudev never. There is a symptom. Gurudev is not going to apply while. In my life also. I have done, I have done so many things. I am not making, you know, I am not guru. I am acting, you know, like a child. But I have seen, I have done so many things. After that they kick me. They cheat me. Okay, I am very happy. No dissatisfaction inside me. The place I am sitting, they insult me unnecessarily. Unnecessarily they are making some group, want to stop my speech openly. They are insulting me, they are doing... I am speaking Harikatha without any reaction, as if nothing happens. You can open Harikatha, you can see. Unnecessarily. Making group, making problems, so many things. I went on speaking Harikatha. Because I don't need Patishtha. Lap Puja Patishtha, I don't need, I don't need, no. I need nothing. I like to get rid of this foolish, you know, the cheaters. So I like to lead life this way. So, Snigdha Shashishya So Guru Bhagu Jhong When you can understand all the, all the, all the etiquette of Guru Pat Padma, all the desire of Guru Pat Padma, all the Siddhanta Vichara of Guru Pat Padma, all you can find inside disciple. Then you can understand. Whole world not going to subscribe. Whole world not going to give him garland. Surely he is a Kipa Patra. He is a Kipa Patra. He is a Kipa Patra. So, Ishar Puripad is the topmost Kipa Patra of Madhavendra Puripad. I started with the slok what? If you find one devotee full of Krishna Prem, and always a prakita siddhanta which are coming from inside, like you know, one you know, always coming. That time you should understand that we must we must take shelter of this sadhu. Otherwise, we cannot. Continuous, the same Siddhanta, what Popa told, Bhakti Mantra told, or Guru Patpatu, Siddhar Maharaj to all, same Siddhanta coming in the flow. That means you are in the stream of Bhakti Vinodhara. Then you can discover yourself, you are in the stream of Bhakti So long you are not in the stream of Bhakti Vinodhara. You are out of Bhakti Vinodhara. You are out of Bhakti Vinodhara. Now you will have to keep yourself in the stream of Bhakti Vinodhara. Follow. So, Ishar Puripad is going to get the full kippah of Madhavendra Puripad. Madhavendra Puripad is the foundation of Gauriya Bhajan. It is the arrangement of Gauranga Mahapu. It is the arrangement. If Gauranga Mahapu is going to arrange the situation in such a way, then we have to accept it. So, Madhavendra Puripad is the foundation of our Gauriya Madhavendra Puripad. Madhavendra Puripad actually took birth in Sri Hatta. I mean the Gauranga Mahapa, father, mother, they all, Dinama Chakrav, they all took birth in Sri Hatta. Sri Hatta. And from childhood he was a great devotee, eternal person. All within a very short period, Vyakaran, Alankar, Sanskrit grammar, all finished. And day by day feeling abnormal feeling of Krishna Bhakti. Father, mother become very anxious. Immediately arrange marriage for that boy. Because on those days, ten, ten years, eight years, father, mother used to arrange marriage. A daughter, I mean the, uh, I mean the, when one daughter is only five, six years, seven years, they used to marry. Our grand grandmother, they used to marry. <coughs> So Madhavandha Puripad was given marriage.
very quickly. What to do? But what to do? After marriage, <coughs> someday after, father and mother could realize this bondage is not sufficient. This bondage cannot stop him. And according to the arrangement of Bhagavan, wife gone from this material world. One small boy take birth with his boy, father and mother gone, he left his village, everything coming here at the bank of Ganga, near Chakradaha, Chakda, Chakda, you know Chakda, Chakradaha, one place is there. There he settled down. There he settled down at the bank of Ganga. After that, he is feeling tremendous pain. It's an eternal parsha. Diksha is not over. Only maybe Gayatri got, I don't know. But Diksha is not over. But still, eternal person. Like Bhakti Vinitraku. Before Diksha, all Prema coming. Writing so much books, how possible? Eternal person. So, finally, Madhavendra Puriva took decision to keep the boy with Advaita Gosai. He is going to keep the boy with Advaita Gosai and left. Left, actually. And left, he gone here and for pilgrimage. Finally, in Matacharya pit, there are Lakshmi Pati was the Acharya. They have eight or nine, one branch of Acharya. Like a branch of judge, na? five, six judge. And there is not one single Acharya, Matacharya. Eight Acharya. One branch. So, from Lakshmi Pati, he took initiation and after that he is eternal prasad of Gauranga. Even before Gauranga Mahapur took birth, Madhavandha Puripat took birth much before. But still what to do? Eternal prasad. Is a Kalpataru. Is a Kalpataru of Goluk Vrindavan. Is a Kalpataru. Madhavendra the Kalpatur of that Golok Vrinda. So, it is written, our Guru Bhargava speaking, though externally we can find Gauranga Mahapur took birth after and Madhavendra birth. But still, is the Parshad. The Parshad of Gauranga Mahapur, and not only that, but also Madhavendra Puripad could. Madhavindu Puripat could discover the molten gold avatar inside heart. Follow. 1200 years back. Now I am not speaking about that. I am speaking another thing. When our Billamangal Thakur is long ago, not now, maybe thousand years back. Billamangal Thakur. Our Guru Bhargava was speaking, molten gold, you know, this avatar came inside the heart of that Billa Mangal Thakur. Billa Mangal Thakur could discover this molten gold, this Gauranga avatar. Bhakti Mata was speaking, Popa speaking. So, Madhavandha Puripath actually finally went back because all detailed information not everywhere. Only short discussion we can find. Madhavendra Puripad in course of his you know, traveling, finally coming here to Shantipur and Madhavendra, uh, our Advaita Gosa taking Diksha from him. This much we know. But all other information not everywhere. Uh, different places you can find. Not in one place. Anyway, so Advaita Gosa took initiation from Madhavandhu Puripath. Anyway, Madhavandhu Puripath is the foundation. Madhavandhu Puripath went to Vrindavan here, there. I am going to cut short because time cannot form it. And, go, and Bhagavan Sri Krishna came three or four times in his life. Practically, I mean, personally coming or in dream, many times coming. Many times, Bhagavan Sri Krishna came in dream and physically Bhagavan came in Vrindavan to give milk to Madhavendra Puripad. After Govardhan Parikama, he was sitting under the tree. Follow. 
So Madhavindu Puripad actually he took sannyas. He took sannyas. Now yesterday I was discussing about sannyas. Some group fighting with this Sahajya group. They're fighting in Kalika. There is no question of sannyas. They are going to quote one sloka from Mahabharata. Ashamedam Gualamhan Sanyasam Palapaitrikam Devarena Sutat Patti Kalu Pancho Bivar Jayat. Kalu Pancho Bivar This kind of five things are prohibited in Kalika. First of all, Ashamed Jagya, Ashamed Jagya, Gomed Jagya, Sanyas, Sanyas, or you cannot use. You cannot use flesh. You cannot use flesh in in the shraddha of father. You cannot use flesh. Palapatrikam. And you cannot engage the brother of husband to get one baby. It's not allowed in Kalikal. So these pipes are totally prohibited in. But sannyas is not prohibited. Bhakti sannyas is not prohibited. Sannyas is prohibited. What kind of sannyas? Karma sannyas. Karma sannyas is prohibited. Karma sannyas is prohibited. Follow. But actually, bhakti sannyas is not prohibited. In the starting, I told Bhagavad Mahaparan is a standard, our final judgment. So in Bhagavad Mahapuran we find that Tirandi Bhikshu, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddha. So how you can say in Kalikal Sanyas is prohibited? Sanyas is allowed, but Bhakti Sanyas, devotional Sanyas. You can devote yourself under the lotus feet of, and you can devote yourself for the seva of Bhagavan only. So Kai Man Bhakya. Body, speech and mind. If I am going to engage my body, speech and mind in seva, then maximum offense you are doing through body, speech and mind. Of course you can say, if I am looking something bad, I am doing offense. Actually you don't understand. Any of your sense organ doing anything, if not supported by your mind, then the activity is not successful. Suppose I am looking something. If mind is not backing me, my looking is absurd. My looking is not good. Follow you, I understand. When I am looking something, but if my mind is not going to backing me, then I cannot look properly. My sanskar is very bad. So I am looking one Mataji, I am getting a bed. So my mind, my, my previous sanskar is going to back me, na? Dirty backing. Because my sanskar is bad. Follow me, sir. So body, speech and mind mean almost everything covered up. Covered up. So sannyas mean by body, speech and mind, thin danda, three danda, danda. By body, speech and mind, you are going to and dedicate yourself unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan. For the seva of Bhagavan. Your life is dedicated. So I told you yesterday, if Rupa Goswami was writing, Bacho Begam, Manasaha, Krodha Begam, Juva Begam, Udarupasta Begam, Etana Begana, Jyobisha, Dhiraha, Sarvama, Pimam, Pithimim, Sa, Shishya. So those foolish Radha Kunda Babajis, Idiot, rascal there. They don't understand, they criticize Goryamad. Where from Goryamad find sannyas? And where from you are getting white base? Where from? Everybody, who not? Madhavanda Puribhad, Ishar Puribhad, Brahmananda Bharati, Kesab Bharati, oh, everybody, they are sannyas. They are sannyas. So, sannyas, our Guru Varga, Prabhupada, Adi, they are all Paramahansa. They are purposely going to maintain sannyas to prove that we are not elevated, we are within this category of Varnasam Dharma. We are under the category of Varnasam, we are not elevated, we are fallen. 
purposely. But Prabhupada, all Siddhartha, they are all Paramahansa. They are purposely taking sanya to express their humbleness. But some sannyasis I know, they are writing, Swami, this Swami. Just two, three days because some Maharaj came, he respect me. I don't know how much, for, for, for the past 20 years I know. 20, 15, 20 years I know. 15 or 20 years. He is coming and giving this book. First of all, in the book I find, Swami, this. You writing this book, you are editing, you are publishing. So why you not write? Huh? The first point you re write here, big binding book, uh, Swami, this. Why you write Swami? Huh? You could write very easily. You could very easily, you could write your servant, but you are Swami. Follow. This is the mood. They are not following Guru Bhargava. They are not following. They are following some demon. Their, their idealism is one demon. They are keeping one demon as the idealism they are going, approaching. What to do? This way, you see, humbleness is the topmost thing. So our Guru Bhargava purposely, though they are Paramahansa, they are purposely adding. So, Rupa Goswami Path, first of all, in his Upadesha Amrita, wanted to advise you to go at least up to sannyas level. Because otherwise, you cannot start Krishna Bhajan, no? If you can say, well, I can do, oh, you cannot do. So long as, Rupa Goswami, this is the first advice of Rupa Goswami So long as you have no controlling over your speech, over your, you know, kai, man, bhakta, body, speech, you cannot start Krishna Bhajan. You cannot start Krishna Bhajan. So, Rupa Goswami has wanted to advise her how you can, at least you can start Krishna Bhajan. In bonded condition, nobody can do Krishna Bhajan. You think you are doing Krishna Bhajan. You are trying. We cannot discourage you. But it's a fact. So long as different kind of anatha, so long as different kind of anarthas are there, how you can start Krishna Vajan? Krishna Vajan is not such a thing. You have to go up, up all anartha, you have to come, then you can start. So Rupa Goswami Bhatt speaking, so long as you have no controlling over your speech, body and mind, you cannot start. So Rupa Goswami is writing this, that to become a Vaishnava, first of all you have to get control of things. Then you can become perfect Vaishnava. Perfect Vaishnava means Tinadapi. It's internally like mathematics. Like mathematics. If A is equal to B, if B is equal to C, or if I say if, if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, eh? then A must be equal to D in line. A is equal to B, B is equal to B is equal to C, C is equal to D. They must be equal to D. It's common. It's like mathematics. Who is Vaishnava? It's another way. Who is no Vaishnava? No, it's another way. We need not explain. I, yesterday I told, I was thinking, you can understand or cannot understand. Because Tinadavi means no desire for love, Puja Patishta. That is Tinadavi. Tinadavi doesn't mean some acting, drama. Oh, Banchakar, Sid, Sid, Maharaj, Varayagan. This is not Tinadavi. This kapat. This kapat. Yesterday I told them, when you are trying to hide something, you cannot become smart. Smartness means straightness. You are trying to hide money, position, your dirty character. Everything you like to hide, to project something new. It's not, it's kapat bab. So this way, Popa told, when I wanted to discuss all these things, because repeatedly you saw, understand. Papa told in Vaishnav K you can through Vaishnav K this book you can read. Madhavendra Puri Bhav Ghare Churi Nakoi Lakobhu. Papa wanted to say. Madhavendra Puri Pad never wanted to cheat himself. Now Madhavendra Puri Pad never wanted to cheat anybody. 
Madhavandhu Puripad never wanted to project himself something superfluous. Never wanted. What is he? He wanted to express. Follow. Madhavandhu Puri, Bhavgare Churi, Nakoi Lokubu Janahasa. Prabhupada writing. Madhavandhu Puri never wanted to cheat anybody because he never wanted to cheat himself. Those who are cheating you, they are cheating themselves. You don't understand. They think I am cheating him. They are cheating me. I have documents. They are speaking lie. I have letters, everything. But I am not going to file any case. I am thinking, depending on Balaram. They cheat me. All oh, they take away. I have documents. I can go to court to file case, but I am not. I have no time. I am depending on Balaram. Balaram can give punishment to them. So, those who are going to cheat others, first of all, they are going to cheat themselves. They will, I will have to justify myself first. I will have to justify myself first before I go to you to, for preaching. First of all, I have to justify my character, behavior, everything. If I am failure to justify myself, how I can go in front of you? So, Madhavandhu Puripa is the topmost, who is having Barja Pema. I discussed long ago, but still I can speak once because I have a big discussion due about Sinivha Sachajya. Madhavandhu Puripa, Pope speaking, Pope speaking that one sloka spoken by Madhavandhu Puripa at the time of living body. Ay din dyardanade mathuranade kadabalaka shihidam tadalok kataram daito brahmati kim karami aham. Papa speaking, if you are really Gauriya Mat Bhakta, Saraswat Gauriya Bhakta, Papa speaking, if you are really Saraswat Gauriya Bhakta, this is your heart and soul. This should be your heart and soul, this sloka. This sloka is all in your life because it is a sloka of Radharani, somehow coming in the tongue of Madhavendra Guru. It was, it was spoken by Radharani. While Krishna gone to Mathura, Radharani crying and speaking. And that sloka appeared in the tongue of Madhavendra Puripad. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita by the mercy of Radharani. So, if this slok in your whole life, in your whole life of Gauriya Bhajan, Saraswat Gauriya Bhajan, I mean, if you are at all in line of Saras, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami or Bhakti Muttak, at all, if you can realize this slok, then I can say that you are Gauriya Mat Bhakta, Gauriya Mat devotee, otherwise not. Any Gauriya devotees, they should realize this sloka fast. If we fail to realize this sloka, then we can go away from this material world vacant. What treasure? Bank deposit cannot follow you. All property, all honor cannot follow you. But what you can take? If you are going to leave your body, what you can take with you? You can take nothing. So we must learn everything from Madhavendra Puripa. How exclusive way Madhavandhu Puripad wanted to show us his whole bhajan life. I have no time to discuss. Today is the Abhirbhaptiti of Sri Ishwar Puripad, uh, of Srinivasa Chajyo. I have no scope to discuss because we need big time. Sinivas Sachajyo, who is Sinivas Sachajyo? Gauranga Mahapu coming in the form of Sinivas Sachajyo. You don't know. Gauranga Mahapu coming in the form of Sinivas Sachajyo. Nithyananda Babu coming in the form of Narottama Thakur. Adhoitu Gosai coming in the form of Samananda Prabhu. You don't know. You have no idea. Gauranga Mahapu himself told, Himself told, I can show you books. Mahaprabhu told, after I go away, 
and before leaving body, someday Gauranga Mahaprabhu is shouting in Purushottam Dham, Srinivas, 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 shouting. And devotee is speaking, whom you are calling? You can realize after some day. Mapo only speaking this, this much. After some day you can realize. Like before, uh, your, our, uh, uh, our, uh, and that, you know, that, you know, that Vishwanu Maharaj came in the form of, eh? Vishwanu Maharaj, eh? eh? Pundarik Vidyani. Vishwanu Maharaj coming in the form. Before, before Pundarik Vidyani coming, Mapu one day in Gauranga Leela, shouting, Ah, Pundarik, oh my father, crying. Similarly, Mahaprabhu told in dream to, to our, you know, Vishnu Devi in dream. Tomorrow, Srinivas, Achajo, Srinivas coming. You can understand my second body. I am coming in this form. So you can give darshan to her, to him. Because Vishnu Bhyadi is not coming out of room. Nobody, even sun god, moon god cannot see Vishnu Bhyadi. But Mahaprabhu came in dream and speak, Srinivas tomorrow coming. You can give darshan and do kifa. So, Srinivas, I am cutting short, someday I can discuss only. Srinivas Ajo came here in, Na in Mayapur. Ishan Thakur guiding him, crying and crying. Ishan Thakur catch him and bring him here. Both Bhangshipadananda and Ishan Thakur arranged his meeting with Vishnu Piyya. He was allowed to go inside. And Vishnu Piyya Devi, like statue, when Gauranga Mapu gone, no symptom of life. Gauranga Mahapu gone. So Vishnu Piyadevi gradually coming in front of and Srinivasa Jo flat Dandavat Pranam. Cannot see anything. So much tears coming out. And Vishnu Piyadevi gradually coming out from the room and coming in front of that boy, I mean, and touching the left leg, main finger. Left leg, main finger on his head. All devotees started shouting, full kipa. So Gauranga Mahapu told, it is written, the flood of prema can come after me. Gauranga Mahapu told, after me, one flood of prema coming by the help of Srinivasaju. I am coming. So, I am going to cut short because time cannot permit me. Oh, many things I like to speak. So many things. So, he took birth in Chakhandi, before Katwa. I went there 16 years back, 15, 16 years back. I went there. One man take, one man take me by cycle. I went there. Chakhandi, very long distance, interior village. At the bank of Ganga, it is called Bardhavan district, district Bardhavan, at before Katwa. And his father, Chiranjib Sen, mother is he, father is the eternal person of Gauranga. What to speak more? What to speak more? So, finally, Srinivas Ajajo growing up, exceptional, all Sanskrit grammar, all everything finished within very short, very small age, all finished, abnormal. Finally, he was bound, bound to go to Srikhanda. You don't know. I used to go long ago, 15, 16. Then that time used to go, 20 years back. Srikhanda, in Katwa station, if you drop there, from there, if you go left hand side, station you drop, left hand side you come down and speak to the Rishka man that you can go Shikhanda. It is the Sri part of Narahari Chakravarti. And if you go, if you if you drop there right hand side, Katwa station, left hand side if you go, then you can go Chak uh, 
and this this place, where I say, second. And if you go right hand side draw, then you can go to Katwa, that place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas. Katwa place. I went there. I shaved my head there. Uh, same day, I went there one day. I shaved my head, take bath and roll down on ground long ago. Not now. So health was very... So that the place where Mahaprabhu shaved head and took sannyas at Katwa. And left hand side if you go, then you can go Sikhanda. That is the Sripat of Narahari. Narahari Adikori Chamara Dulai, you know, in Kirtan. Are morning kirtan arati, you are not doing. Are <laughs> morning time not kirtan doing. Bale gora gada dhare. Not doing. Narvari adiguri samanar. And evening time kirtan also. Narvari adiguri in evening time kirtan. Morning time not there, evening time you can get. So, this way, actually the small boy, right from the beginning, he got the scope to hear about Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Because father is devotee. Father used to speak all about the, you know, all Leela of Gauranga to this small boy. And small boy is eternal person. Anyway, he is eternal person. But, and, but he is eternal person. But still, hearing all Gauranga Leela from the mouth of father and mother, all day and night. Finally, took decision to go to Narari Sarkar Thakur, Narari Prabhu. Narari Prabhu. One Narari Chakravarti who wrote Bhakti Raktnagar is not that Narari. People confusion, they don't understand. That Narari is there, Sikhanda. Follow. Raghunanda Nachajo, or I told you, you know, small boy who is uh, taking Danda to Gopal, attack Laddu. Why not taking? That boy is uh, Raghunandan. He was taking danda to Bhagavan. Hey, talk, take, take, dan, take sweet. Then Gopal appear and taking sweet. That, that part, see part. I went there. So Narari Prabhu used to love him very much. Very much used to love. So there, and that time Gauranga Mahaprabhu was there doing lila in Sannyas lila, in Sikhat, almost, almost last time. When, when our Sinivasacharya took decision, when our Sinivasacharya took decision to go to Purushottam Dham to meet with Gauranga Mahaprabhu, that was the last moment. All hearing about, all hearing about Gauranga Lira, gone mad. I like to meet, like to meet Gauranga, cannot live, are running, running towards Purushottam Dham. But when he reached Purushottam Dham, that time, it was night time. It was late at night, 12 over. That time it was almost village. So he was very tired, small boy, very tired. No prasadam, no water, finally what to do? Finally, going in front of the main temple, you know, Men get, you know, Shingadhar. Shingadhar, you know, men, men get. Arevava Patit Pabon inside. That get there, nobody there. He is going to sleep in a stone. Very hungry, very thirsty to sleep in the stone. And some, some, somebody coming to call him. Hey, hey, get up, get up, Prabhu. Is going to give a lot of prasadam to him. In dream, he is watching Jagannath Baladev Shubhadra. He is sleeping at the gate of Jagannath Dev. I mean, Shingadhar. And in dream, watching Jagannath Baladev Shubhadra laughing at him. And in the meantime, somebody came to call. Oh, oh boy, oh my boy, get up. What happened? Take this prasadam. Oh, lot of prasadam. He is taking all prasadam. It was Jagannath himself came. Jagannath himself came to give prasadam to him. A oh, nice prasadam I'm taking. Jagannath himself came. Anyway, 
he took information finally that I cannot meet with Gauranga. Gauranga just disappeared. He was informed, just Gauranga disappeared, you come. He started crying like a mad. Cannot leave, he like to, you know, die, going to jump in the ocean. Somebody check him up. Finally, somebody take him in front of Gadadhar Pandit. And after watching Gadadhar Pandit, he was feeling consolation. Because Gadadhar is Radharani, na? Gadadhar Radharani, na? So, when Srinivas was watching Gadadhar Pandit, eh, a Gadadhar Pandit is full of Baba, as if there is you know, no consciousness. But still, when Srinivas is Jo, when somebody is speaking, Srinivas is coming, Srinivas is coming to you, then Gadadhar Pandit somehow likes to control him, himself and going to give darshan to him, bring him in front of me. When Srinivas is coming, and blasted into tears like mad. Gadadhar Pandit going to bestow kipa on him, fool. So impossible. Gadadhar cannot check himself. But anyway, this way, someday he was there with Gadadhar Pandit. He wanted to hear Bhagavatam from Gadadhar Pandit. But Gadadhar Pandit started crying and speaking. Now it is no more Gadadhar Pandit speaking. Now it is no, no more possible for you, for me to speak Bhagavatam. Now it is not possible because Gauranga gone. And all books of Bhagavatam, handwritten, handwritten, because those are no print. Handwritten books, Bhagavat, Gadadhar Pandit bring and give to him. You take this Bhagavatam, but now not possible. Now I cannot check myself. How I can explain? How I can explain to you? Now I, I cannot check myself. Because Bhagavad is full of rasa. Bhagavad is full of rasa. Na? And when Srinivasa Chajyo wanted to check up the book, because that time there was not, not paper. That one, plum leaf. One by one, Srinivasa Chajyo opened the book. One by one, opened one page. And watching and catching it here and crying. Because one by one paper opening, you cannot find, letter is not there. Letter, letter, letter vanish. Because Gadadhar Pandit, while reading Bhagavatam, shedding tears, and due to tears coming, all the ink, ink, become. Most of the letters all vanish due to the shed Shedding tears, Godadhar Pandi used to shed tears, all tears coming and cannot. All Sanskrit, Sanskrit writing, you know, most of the, not all, many write. But if one word is not visible, I cannot read. You give me reading, I can recite like wind. But if you, there is disturbance, I cannot read, then I can immediately say, there is mistake, printing mistake. If I cannot read properly, then I can say, you, you check up another book, there is printing mistake. Really so. There is printing mistake. That's why I cannot read. Because that break, na? There's some rhythm. Rhythm. So here, if one, one word is dropped, if one word is dropped, how you can read the full sloka? Not possible. So, Gadadhar Pandit was... Gadadhar Pandit was very, very sorry. Gadadhar Pandit was so sorry, Gadadhar started crying. You, you like to hear Bhagavatam from me. I like to read, but now it is not possible for me. Now it's not. My prananath, all my heart gone. I am now almost uh, like uh, lifeless. So you take this Bhagavatam and Gadadhar Pandit arrange, Gadadhar Pandit arrange his meeting, Gadadhar Pandit arrange arrange his meeting with all Nilachal devotees. All Nilachal devotees, the Gauranga Mahapa Parshat, staying in Nilachal, na? All staying in Nilachal, na? Most of the devotees, they are Nilachal Parshat. They are Gadadhar Pandit giving one devotee and asking, you take Srinivas and go to all devotees to get Kipa. 
So by the help of the devotee, our Srinivasa is going to all devotees, Padunna, Mishra, all, you know, all devotees, Gopal Guru, all, whatever, so many devotees that time. All they are feeling lifeless due to go to Gauranga Mahapur's disappearance. They are all feeling lifeless. So Srinivasa Chajyo, if I go on speaking, it will be one Mahavarat epic. So many things. So Srinivasa Chajyo took initiation finally. He took something, Harinam and teachings, Harinam and teachings, all everything, Vaishnav, all eternal parsa. It matters little. He has taken this is take take and diksha, not his all. But from Narari, Narari Prabhu, Narari Prabhu, like son, going to kiss him, embrace him, teaching everything. Eternal person. Finally, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu disappeared, he took decision by the order of Narari, you go to Vrindavan. He going to Vrindavan. And Vrindavan, he took shelter unto a lotus feet of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. He took shelter unto a lotus feet of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. And he took shelter unto a lotus feet of Jiva Goswami path for learning Siddhanta Visha. Eternal Prasad, but still learning. And by chance that time, by chance that time, our Samananda Prabhu was there. Samananda Prabhu already there. Narthama already there. All the group. All they become group. Ah, very tight relationship. They enjoying. All the three sitting in front of Jiva Goswami Jiva Goswami speaking one by one. They are giving lesson to them. All together there. Finally, after getting all lesson, Ajova Shatas Shat Shik Sandarva. Shata Sandarva. Shata Sandarva. And all the writings of Rupa Goswami Path, Rasamrita Sindhu, Brihad Bhagavad Gita Sanatana, all commentary, Jiva Goswami is speaking, and they are all hearing, closing eyes. This way, this way, after the lesson, after the lesson is over, after the lesson is over, then by the order of Jiva Goswami Path and all devotees, I am going to cut short, because in between, long history, he went to do Parikram, Bindavan, I am not going. Then to cut short, all jumping. Finally, by the order of Jiva Goswami Pada, day three, I mean, Srinivasa Jo, Samananda Babu, Nathamana. Day three, I know, by the order of Jiva Goswami Pada, they are going to take all the books, heaps, heaps of books. They are loading in a cow, I know, you know, bullock cart, heaps of books. And the books were kept into iron chamber, iron box, all. All loaded, and they pack it and bind it, and then give blessing, Jiva Goswami you call, you go and try to preach all the Siddhanta Vishars of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Try to preach. Now, so today, by the mercy of Srinivasa Jo, Nautam Thakur, and Saman. So today, by the mercy of Jiva so today we understand, we understand a little something. We understand nothing. A ocean of Shastra. A ocean of Shastra. Those who are foolish, they can say, oh, I know everything. Those who are genuine devotees, they can say, what a, why I know nothing? What I know? So today we know something. So today we have the scope to discuss all Goswami Siddhanta. All today. So finally I told all the books, I mean the treasure, were stolen by Birhambir Raja, one king, wicked king, was stolen. The books, they couldn't, they couldn't trace out, they couldn't trace out about the whereabouts of the book, where books gone. Finally, Srinivasa told, you too cannot do any let. Nautam Bhavu, Nautam Bhavu started running towards east, towards his Manipur, Tipura, 
Bangla, all. And Samananda Prabhu started preaching towards southwest. Southwest direction started. All Urissa, all Mindapur, all Bengal. And Srinivasajjo waiting to recover those books. Whereas both of them gone. He requests, don't waste your time. Time is very valuable. Even fraction of second in your life is very valuable. So you should not waste your time in your life. If you like to come success this life, this life, don't waste one second. Don't play with Maya in mobile. Uh, don't play with Maya. Follow. When and how you can leave your body, no security. So, Srinivasa is going to wait. Finally, finally one day, Srinivasa took decision to attend the Bhagavad Sabha. You try to understand the arrangement of Nithyananda Gauranga. One day, he took decision to attend one Bhagavad Sabha arranged by the king of that place. Srinivasa is going to attend Harikatha. He is sitting among the audience. But when, when the, when the man who is going to explain Bhagavatam is speaking all wrong, when the man explaining Bhagavatam wrong way, then Srinivasa just started crying, brushed into tears heavily. Then why so? Why is crying? Why is crying? What happens? Srinivasa says, this is not the meaning of this sloka. Then the one kind of challenge came. One kind of challenge automatically came because the king hearing, na. Then king and everybody speaking. Well, we are hearing from you. Okay, you explain. Then when Srinivasa just started explaining, all the seva, all the assembly, all the men, their heart melting, heart melted. They lost. As if they are lost in some other kingdom. They say, this is Bhagavad explanation. We never heard Harikatha this way. Now you go to market, what kind of Harikatha you can get? Or you can laugh. What is the what they are speaking? All rubbish. Eh? Like a joker. Like a circus joker. They speak. What they are speaking? All rubbish. So, after hearing Srinivas the king was very impressed. The king started crying and taking shelter. You must give me shelter. Uh, actually, I am a very heavy heart. All my books and papers are law missed. King told, nothing lost. It is with me. I can give you everything. You give me shelter. King told, you give me shelter. I was a dog white. You make me devotee. Then take shelter. Then give back all books and papers, everything, all intact. All intact. Recovered by Srinivasa Jajjo. And Srinivasa Jajjo started preaching in Bankura, Birbhum, all Bengal. Were not like Mahaprabhu himself. Many times came in dream. I forget because I am cutting short now. Gorang Mahaprabhu went when Srinivasa Jajjo. Ah, loses consciousness, is crying, going to die. Then immediately Gauranga Mahapu Panchatattva came in, came in dream. Srinivas, I am with you. I am with you, don't fear. By that time, he wanted to meet with Adhaita Gosai, Nithyananda, they also disappear. Nithyananda disappear, Adhaita disappear, Mahapu disappear, all disappear. When, when, our Srinivasajyo coming back from Puri with the books and again wanted to take one new book to go to Puri to take some advice from, uh, from Gadadhar Pandit. By that time, Gadadhar also disappeared. All disappeared. So, Srinivasajyo by the order of Gauranga Mahapu. By the order because Gauranga Mahapu himself came in dream and told, a flood of prema can again come. I am coming in the form of Srinivas. I am coming in the form of Srinivas. One again 
this world can witness a flood of prema. Srinivas Ajayi. So many things I like to discuss. I like to give answer to all complicated question relating Srinivas Ajayi, but where is time? Time is not there, na? Just a few days ago, one sannyasi came, he is giving me one paper that totally wrong Siddhanta. You can remember some days ago I told Matajis are not allowed to act as, but he is writing all wrong. But I can go. But the disciple of Bhagavan Gusima, that's why I wanted to give him chance, because nobody meet with me. I don't allow anybody. Very rare. I have no time. He requesting me, okay. But now I find the written, I already wrote one note through him. You can write to email that the last portion of your writing, Maharaj is, you know, and it is unusual, it cannot so happen. Again, I will have to sit with him, give time. They are coming to kill my time. Don't understand anything but to do. Hemlata Thangurani, Gangamata Thakurani, or our, you know, Janava Thakurani, they are not ordinary men. I already told, wrote Siddhanta. I already, you published now already. They are all Sarup Shakti Vilash. Why you are going to compare them with ordinary women? From Veda, I can show you so many names. So many names. All Matajis. They are Rishi. They are Rishi. I can give you names. All Rishi there. But they are beyond any body limit. Their body, they are beyond it because Veda appear in front of them. So not a matter of jay. Katayani, Gargi, Katayani, Gargi, they are all not ordinary women in Vedic Yuga. All, be, all different mantra of Veda appeared in front of them. That's why they are not ordinary women. They are beyond body limit. They are beyond body Anyway, whom to speak? Who can hear me? Anyway, let me, uh, uh, I'll have to drop here. Anyway, so Sinibha Sachajyo is a great, we cannot, explain. we want to get keep up from Madhavendra Puripath and uh, Isparshat and from Sinibha Sachajyo. So, one sloka I, I can speak what Srinivasa you wanted to teach us, but I can discuss tomorrow. Today I can only speak the sloka. Balavan Adaru Yasuna Sad Guru Padambuje Srutoi Ropi Sasastrail Krishna Bhakti Najayat. Balavan Adaru Yasu No Sad Guru Padambuje Srutoi Ropi Tasho Sasastrail Krishna Bhakti Najayat. I can discuss tomorrow. So today, what sloka I started, we can. So any bhakta, by chance we meet, a flow of prema, siddhanta vichar, we should not leave him with the mood of politics and you know, we should not leave him. So, there is a sloka of Chaitanya Chaitamito, Krishna bhakti raso bhavita mati kriyatam jadi kuto pilabhati tatro laullo mopi mullo mekalam Janma Koti Sukrutvair Narabhyate. If by chance you meet with some devotee full of prema, full of siddha, don't try to buy him. Try to buy him. What price? But no money. Only, only low law, low greed. You will have to sell yourself in front of him. Try to buy him. Bancha Kalpatur Vasuki Basan. Patidanam Pavana Vaishnava. If we can sell our head, if we can sell our head unto the lotus feet of Sachi Vaishnava, who can give me Krishna, immediately I like to have sell my head. My sell head is already sold unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma. Already sold. Second time, how I can sell? 